Hi, my name is Paul Arnold and I'm a qualified counselling psychotherapist. And I specialise in relationships because at the end of the day relationships give us the greatest joys but also can give us the greatest pain. So who do you see? Well, sadly, say it's very confusing out there. And the reality is it isn't as well regulated as we'd like it to be. So for example, someone can do a three week course and just slap therapist on their door. So I really strongly advise you to double check what's the level of qualifications that that person has got. Now the way I see it, and this is my own personal point of view, and I appreciate some people may see it slightly differently, is there are four levels of people you can go to see. One is a psychologist, the next is a counsellor, the next is a psychotherapist, and the last is a psychiatrist. So a psychologist understands a lot about why you do what you do, the why you think what you think, and why you feel what you feel. And actually, you know, if I had to draw some distinctions, and I bear in mind they all overlap a bit, you know, they're very good on the theory side, so they can really help you understand what's going on for you. I think when you get into counsellors and psychotherapists, what I think we bring is a greater um, range of experience in the therapy room, in that we know how to hold the space and we know how to work with you to help you get some degree of resolution on your problem. So we're start slightly more sort of skills based in that field. The next level up is going to be a counsellor, and a counsellor would also have done a lot of work on understanding you know, why we do what we do. And they would have read lots of the theory books and things like that. And they would have done some also some practice work as well and have been supervised and very often have done some degree of uh, personal therapy as well. Not always, you know, and there are different levels of counselling, levels of training you can get to. The next level up is the psychotherapist. And the psychotherapist has done five years of training, very intense, read lots of books, you know, um, have done, you know, at least 450 hours of supervision with actually proper clients, you know, as well as doing lots of personal psychotherapy themselves. And the reason we do all the psychotherapy is because we want to come to terms with ourselves. So we've been there ourselves. And actually, critically, we want to know that if you are saying something that triggers us, we can leave that to one side and stay with your process and not be using you to help do our process. Now, there are two fundamentally important bodies that I strongly recommend you look at. There's the BACP and the UKCP. And the BACP you know, has the list of registered people who are counsellors and also psychotherapists. And anyone on there would have got the full qualifications to be called either a counsellor or a psychotherapist. The next level up is probably UKCP because UKCP only ever registers psychotherapists. The final level is a psychiatrist and a psychiatrist is a medical doctor who is further qualified in the area of mental health. And these are the people and the only people who are allowed to give you a properly medical diagnosis. They're also the only people on this list who are allowed to prescribe medical drugs as well. Now, having said all those four levels, what I would say is it's about the quality of the relationship. So at any of those levels, you can have a fantastic experience with someone because you just have a great relationship with them. And just because you're more qualified does not necessarily mean you will become the best person to work with you. So the first important thing to do is make sure you meet with the person and see whether you have a chemistry going with them, whether you feel comfortable with them, whether you feel you can share your most intimate secrets with them. That is the fundamental secret of the power of successful therapy.